How's it going, Blazers? We're going to bring you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is kind of a new video, different video. It's just going to be an update. Uh, so I've been concentrating on this uh, process for a little bit. Uh, so sorry for the other content, kind of lacking a little bit, uh, but I'm going to be talking about uh, this knife here. Also showing off this knife as well uh, while everybody's still here. So this is from Hawaii Knife and Gear. Uh, so if you see what this is, uh, so this is an Elementum, uh, ordered it from him and also uh, deleted the lanyard loop because I don't use lanyard. So uh, he just did the full scale, there's on Koa wood. Uh, so it's a very pretty, uh, very nice looking, uh, but there's one thing I picked up recently. Uh, so that's gonna be that. Uh, but talking about this one knife here, so if you're not aware, um, the Ryan Solaris uh, is my brand. Uh, it is uh, my knife design. So this is where we are with the Kickstarter process. So also talking about Kickstarter. Uh, so I guess we're at 61% now uh, before fully funded. Uh, so then we can work on to stretch goals after that. Uh, but 61% at 160 backers. So thank you very much for that. So if you're looking to do that, go over to kickstarter.com and just search Orion or Orion Solaris and then they'll pull up right for you and join in. Uh, starts off at 80 bucks, shipped to your door. Uh, also did add in an international option. Uh, sorry for those folks, uh, but there is a $30 premium for that because international shipping is more, um, but hopefully it doesn't get stuck anywhere and all that stuff. But since I was getting a few requests for that, I did follow through and make an international option um, as well. Uh, so what you're gonna get with the box, you're gonna have the box specifically designed for the Ryan Solaris and then there's going to be inside of it is going to be a custom uh, sticker. So it's going to be a backer only sticker. So you're never going to get that sticker ever again. Uh, it's going to be with the box. Um, also going to have a place card um, with the warranty card and everything. And then the knife. And then uh, for the spot, I am going to be adding in. I'm still working to get the details uh, done up with it. I'm going to get a custom printed pocket pen. Uh, the pocket pen is going to be black. Uh, going to have the Orion. Um, knives on one side and then the um, probably the logo on the other side at least that's the plan so we'll see if that works out but at least it'll fill in that slot so people won't go well what's that slot for uh, the slot was originally designed for extra parts so as you pick up the knife if you want to get like the different blue um, with your knife you'll go into this slot and shipped out to you in the same box but um, there'll just be too many questions so even some reviewers are like what's the slot for uh, so the slot will be for a pocket pen as long as that works out and everything comes together. Uh, but that would be your pen, use it how you want, uh, made in the USA. Uh, this is not made in the USA, so that's another question that I'm getting. Uh, so QSP is the OEM for this knife, uh, so they are made in China. Uh, so working to uh, figure out the brands, uh, I was not able to find a US OEM. I already have an experience and work with QSP, and that's why I went with them as far as the OEM for this knife. So that's answering that question. Also another question comes up, uh, is it ambidextrous? Yes it is. Uh, so you can switch the pocket from this side to this side if you want a left hand or weak side carry. Uh, that's gonna be something that's good for you. Um, and also, yes, um, the lock uh, releases on one side, uh, but if you use the other hand, all you're gonna be doing is activating it with your pointer finger instead of your thumb. So it is an ambidextrous system, it just is a little bit different uh, for how it would operate with your thumb or your pointer to release that button. Uh, so that's going to be that process. Uh, so one thing I wanted to talk about as far as Kickstarter goes, one thing I didn't realize when I was getting into it is how many sharks are in the water when you actually start a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, so uh, right when I started, then you get flooded with people saying that they're, they they can get you all this these people that will come to your site, um, um, work with them, and um, these are all the campaigns that they made successful. Uh, so it just comes in over and over. I get emails, I get messages on the actual campaign. Uh, so it's kind of all over the place as far as that information goes. Uh, so it's kind of the, almost like the ambulance chaser type of thing. Uh, so uh, definitely some of it's probably legitimate, uh, but it just seems a little odd. Uh, so it is a little bit spammy, but uh, that is something that uh, it is another line of business, but you're just kind of surprising to me as far as how much uh, came through on that. But we do have 35 more days in the campaign. So if you're not already in the campaign, uh, I would urge you to jump in so um, those other 160 folks can get their knife because they want to get one in their hands and they've supported already. Just need a few more people to back onto it and then so we can get over the goal. So once we reach the end, 
then we can actually get things going, produced, and then ship everything out to everybody. So that is the plan uh, for this knife. So Orion, Orion Solaris knife, uh, still planning for 14C28. Uh, there was a recommendation for ABL, um, ABEL, uh, but I'll kind of see where that goes. But right now it's going to be 14C28 uh, for this model. And then kind of give me any opinions, anything else that you would like to see, uh, any other questions that you guys have, and I'll answer that the best I can. Uh, this is going to be going around again uh, to somebody else. Uh, so we do have um, some knives going around still to review, so you'll see other people's opinions. And if you go, if you go to the website, orionknives.com, it has a full list of all the reviews um, on the knife. So you can kind of see, not from the person that designed it and is working on the Kickstarter campaign, just people that have seen it, handled it, and what their thoughts are. And so that's what you'll be able to do uh, with that. But that's about all I have to say about that one today.